Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Troutsman's Hex. There's a number of flies out there that represent this big hexagenia mayfly, but this one by Kelly Gallup is my favorite. It's a big fly, it's easy to see, it floats really high in the water, and during the month of July here in the east, these are always in my fly box. So here's a fly in the vise. So the hook we're going to use today is a Mustad R43 in size 10. Kelly says you can tie this all the way up to a size 4. This is a big fly. So this is a one extra fine, three extra long hook. And the thread we're going to be using today is a UTC GSP 75 in yellow. And we'll get this started about two eye lengths behind the hook eye and wrap back about halfway to form a thread base and back forward and our wing will be the first thing that we tie in that's going to be some white calf's tail and this has really tough stuff to stack so the best way to even this out is just pull the hair out perpendicular to the bone. Get in there with your scissors and cut off what you need. And we want to strip out all of the fine short hairs, fuzzies. And we want this wing to be a hook shank in length, so we'll measure that out. We're going to tie that in right on top of the hook, like so. Good tight wraps. Wrap back about halfway. And trim this off. Try and cut this off at a bit of an angle. So we can develop, start to develop a bit of a taper. Wrap back forward, jump our thread in front of the wing, form a thread dam to start to hold the wing up. And we're going to divide this into two equal clumps. And we're going to make some crossing wraps and some figure eight wraps to separate the wings. And then we'll make some posting turns, maybe four of them up the wing to further separate it. And as you pull back, you can see that it straightens the wing out, which is what we want. We'll take one wrap around the body to anchor that in place. I'm going to do the same thing to the other wing. Pull back, straightens the wing out, take a wrap around to secure it. Stand that wing up and pull it forward just a little bit, get it out of our way. So we've got a few stragglers here we'll get rid of. Neaten this up a bit. Next material we're going to tie in is going to be the belly of the fly. This is going to be some yellow bucktail. You don't need a large clump of this. We just need enough hair to cover the base of that hook. So we'll strip out all of the short stuff that we don't need. And we're going to tie this in on the bottom of the hook. This can be a little bit tricky. I'm going to wrap back to the bend of the hook, keeping everything on the bottom. There we go. A few strays up here to get rid of. Next we're going to tie in our tail. That's going to be some 
loose body hair. I only need five or six strands of this. And we want these to be the length of the hook plus maybe a hook gap. So about like so. I'm going to tie these in on top. Wrap up to where our wing ended its tie-in point. Snip off the excess. And wrap forward again to behind the wing. And now we're going to form the belly of the fly. We're going to take that yellow hair and stretch it across the bottom of the fly, like so. Tie that off. Cut off our excess. Few more wraps just to make sure I got that good there. And the next material we're going to tie in is going to be the back of the fly. That will be some natural colored deer hair. Clump about the same size. We're going to measure this out so that it's just past the bend of the hook. Right about there. Change fingers. Cut off all the excess. I'm going to tie that in right on top. A couple of good tight turns. Don't let go of the hair. Now, keeping the hair in your fingers, we're going to make some open spiral turns back. Not crushing the hair too much. This contributes a lot to the buoyancy of the fly. When we get to the back, we're going to make two turns. Pull it a little bit tight to kind of flare that out, like so. and. Take some crossing spiral wraps back up front, kind of representing the segmentation of the fly, and some tight turns there. Next we're going to tie in our hackle. This is going to be uh, Coachman Brown and Grizzly. And these are size to the hook. This is a size 10 hook. We'll prepare these by snipping off the barbules on either side of the stem, leaving some stubs. I almost always tie these in with the grizzly in front and then use the Coachman Brown to color the fly darker if I want. This is a fairly heavily hackled fly. So we're probably going to make a good four turns. Behind the wing. There. Now, find our trusty hackle pliers. and start making wraps forward behind the wing. And jump in front of the wing. Get rid of the excess. And now the Coachman Brown working in between the grizzly. There. 
And when we reach the eye, we'll tie that off. Okay, so now we're just going to form a small head. We'll pull our hackle back. Once we're happy with the size of the head, we'll take our whip finish tool, make a four or five turn whip finish, try not to capture any of that hackle. Well, we managed to catch one or two. Seed or not, cut thread, and I did catch one. Last is some head cement. This is Loon's water-based. Let that soak in a bit. Get rid of the excess. Now if you want, you can add some UV resin or some head cement to the back and the belly of this fly. That will add a little bit to the durability. And with that, our fly is finished. Feel free to add comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all the current content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.